All right. All right, so a quick explanation about what is a COM object. So have you ever created a class in AutoHotKey, like class of, let's say, notify, we have the notify function, and that class has uh, a um, method, right, that okay. does some action, and then you say, you know, show a notification and you put the code for that and then you have a variable called you know status equals zero for now have you done this before you know have you created a class so, so let me yeah. since we're recording this and Isaiah, normally we, we do this in reverse order you give the long explanation and then in the end i i give my version which is much more shorter in and more basic, right. right like it's not right. that either one's right or wrong let me jump in first so right we've probably all done like tried to look at a dll call right and like those are really complicated but they allow you to do some really cool stuff because inside dll's are functions in other languages that's why they're so complicated right a com object has some, not necessarily all, some of that functionality, but it's standardized into a simpler way to connect to it and to programmatically control a program, right? right. Or interact with a program. So that's right. how I think of it as like, I have a simpler way to connect to a program that's programmatic and it's, it. I don't have to learn C sharp. I don't have to learn this and that. It's a standard exactly. way that I connect to it. Yes. It's much easier. So anyway, right. now I'll confuse everybody. I'm kidding, but I'm going. <laughs> you right, right. To, the you, you right. what does uh, Dan Bajio say? He's like, I provide the receipts. He's like, he's like, <laughs> he provides all here, the real. Here you know, come the receipts, heaven. right, yeah. right. So, so here's the point. So, so let me ask you this, this one: Have you ever created a class or worked with a class like this? Mm. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. For example, like Rafadium. Right, like Rafadium. Rafadium is a class. Yeah, as right. I as I as uh, uh, I just wanna uh, uh, at this point I just wanna tell you I don't ha uh, never ever uh, use the class because oh. uh, because I don't know what is the class. All uh, right. Huh. Now let me simplify that a little bit. So let's do this. Mm -hmm. Have you used the function? Have you created yeah. a function? Yeah, every time, every time. Okay, so let's say that you have a function called notification. Not and in that function, mm -hmm. you have a lot of code, okay? Okay, okay. That's good. And then you have some global variables, like is shown, that you use to verify if you're going to show the notification or not. Let's say false first, right? right? So this is a function, and this is another, uh, is a variable. This is a global variable that your whole script can access. That usually is not a good idea because of if the whole script can access that variable, it can also change that variable and it would be a problem. That's why we don't like those. But let's say that you have a second function, move notification, all right? All right. That moves notification window, right? And you have a lot of code for that. And now you have another function, hide notification, right? All right. Hides notification window. And you have another variable that says is uh, destroyed or something, or uh, is uh, hidden, goes false. Now, you're noticing all of these variables, all of that, and all of these uh, functions they all relate to the same thing. It's about a notification, right? But right. if you have a lot of code and you have a lot of windows, a lot of functions, a lot of things, you're going to have a lot of code that that is unrelated to this. And it is going to be difficult to know that this is just for that. So a class grabs all of this and puts it together into one object so now i say hey look let me call this a class and let's call it notification mm -hmm. and everything that is in here is related all this code is only for the notifications right 
and I'm right. grouping everything into one place. And now I say, you know what? Now that I have the class name notification, I don't have to say show notification because I know that it's a notification that I'm showing. So I remove this and I say notification show, notification move, and notification hide. Does that make sense? All of that is, and I want to know if the notification is hidden or if the notification is shown, right? All of I, that is grouped in one thing. And now I can create an object. So my notification, and I create a new object. And now this variable, mm -hmm. I could say notification show. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, I understand. Right. But That's I what have, I, but I have you little, have, you have little, little, little confusion. Little bit confusion. Uh, right. uh, uh, let's have uh, be practical a little bit. Uh, if I want to uh, call the hide, uh, hide, mm -hmm. hide for, I want to use the uh, hide function. Right. Uh, how can I, how can I use, uh, the, you are, uh, which is right in 24, line number 24. Uh, mm -hmm. This is the way of uh, use for the, uh, use a hide function, which is uh, uh, which is the line of eighteen. Right. No. So so. Mm -hmm. As this is a class now. Yeah. Oh, have, line number right. one. Line number one notification. Right. So this is yeah. the class, and mm -hmm. here I'm just saying, hey, all that whole class, make mm -hmm. a copy of it, and now call it my notification, for example, and now I can say my notification show and my notification hide you see so i can show it hide it or i could say message box my notification is shown right so i can do all of that but always i will always start with that that's what a class is a class is just kind of like a blueprint or um a creation of an object that now i can use my object have you ever used a map before? Have you used a map? Yeah. 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 I remember he, he did one. Right. So it's the same. So names, I'm just creating an object. Oh. And now for names, I could say dot has. Wow. Is a it's mean it's mean it's it's look like a, a, a map. It, it's look like object. Class. It is, yeah, it is an object. So yeah. this right here, you mm -hmm. are creating your own object. So this is your object. Now, let me ask you this. Yeah. If I give this code, which is out of hotkey code, mm -hmm. to somebody else, and mm -hmm. that person creates a, a program in, in Visual Basic or JavaScript, yeah. Can they use my object? No, because this object is an auto hotkey object, but mm -hmm. they're coding in JavaScript. So yeah. JavaScript doesn't understand auto hotkey. Does that make sense? Yeah. This is the thing. A com object is an object that you can give it to somebody else that uses a different language, but Windows translates it or has a common way for any language to use that object. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So, for example, when you say, okay, um, Excel equals uh, com object Excel dot application. What we're doing here is that we are grabbing that object mm -hmm. and putting it in a variable, but that object was written in a different language. It was created in C++, I think, or C Sharp. I think it's C++. Yeah, it's, it's, it's in VB, Visual Basic, Excel. No. Kind of, okay. but no. <laughs> so okay. that object uses Visual Basic, 
But here's yeah. the, the actual object was created in C++, I think. C++. But, but okay. hold on. Here's a really important thing to understand, um, Rizwan, which you may yeah. have done. VBA is mm -hmm. controlling Excel with this same com object. Right, with the same com object. Right. That's why it's, it, it, it's I, I totally understand why you said VBA, right? Like, right. I would have thought that before. But it's once you realize the com object, it's so important because VBA and other languages, that's right. how they talk to Excel, right? right. VBA is right. the one that almost everyone's used forever, right? That's the most, by right. far, most popular. But right, that's why when I first learned about AutoHotKey, I thought, oh, Excel is, is the, I'm sorry, VBA is the language for Excel. But later I realized it, it, that's, it's why not. The, that's why the code is so similar in what right. we generate and what VBA is because they're both using the com object and right. talk to it in a similar way. The ins and outs are the same. Right. Now, let me make a parenthesis. Joe, your volume is very low. I don't know what happened, but so, but here's the thing, this one. Yeah. This object hmm. was created in C++, for example, I'm not 100% sure, but let's assume it is. Okay. Now, VBA, okay, VBA connects to the Excel application and you can use it by saying, okay, VBA, so you have an, an object that is called the dot application and then you want the path of the of the file, the file path. In out of hotkey, you would do the same. You create the object, and now you can say Excel dot application dot path. It looks the same. You see that? Yeah. They look the same because VBA and our hotkey are connecting to the same type of object that is called a com object yeah. that's it and okay. the com object is created so that different languages can do exactly the same code and it looks the same in both of them most of the times when i go to um msdn for example um excel application if i go to the application object and they tell me hey this is something that you can do like this Ooh. in visual basic Ooh. and look at it right here look Ooh. and look at that in visual basic they tell you set excel to create object excel sheet and now you can get the application open excel you see that yeah i could copy this code, almost exactly the same, copy it to auto hotkey. But I would say, I don't have to say the set. I don't have to do that in auto hotkey. And instead of create object, we have com object. And after I did that, you can do exactly the same. Like you, I don't have to change it. That's exactly the same code. The reason why is because Visual Basic and Auto Hotkey are connecting to the same thing. That's it. They're connecting to the same thing. And for that reason, I don't have to change the code that much. That's what a COM object is. It just allows you to use the same type of object in different languages and have it behave exactly the same almost. So, uh, that's the shortest, uh, uh, well, uh, not shortest, but uh, a simple explanation of what is going on um, and why com objects are so cool. Because once you have code that works in a specific way, it doesn't matter what language you use, it's going to be very similar. For example, auto hotkey scripts that are written in auto hotkey v1. If they're using com objects, when I put it in auto hotkey v2, I don't have to change almost anything because everything works exactly the same with the com object. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, I understand. Okay, so hopefully that helps you out um, understanding a little bit more about classes, objects, and what a com object is. We do have a course that is just about objects. 
and part of what I talk about is regarding uh, how come objects work and how we can find them and and look at them. So hopefully that helps you out understanding a little bit better. Um, yeah. Of course, that is just an intermediate very quick. topic. Yeah. And it's a very not, quick overview of it. Right. Yeah. And, and this is basically an intermediate topic. It's not yeah. something that you're just going to dive but, into when you're learning. At the same time, Isaiah, which is also why Rizwan is, is you know, a little confused on the topic. I used comma objects for a long time and I never used classes, right? Because the object-oriented programming really simplifies things and makes it easier to use. So if you understand functions, using a comma object is simple. And the other thing I was going to mention was we're very fortunate because the com because of the comma object, because Excel and VBA, VBA is such a popular language. There's a ton of examples of how to automate with VBA. It's auto hockey is a niche language, so there's not nearly as much stuff, but we can borrow because they're so similar in what we provide. They're so similar. Right. We can borrow what the Excel stuff does. All right. We got to run. Thanks, everyone. Cheers. Bye.